Hi, we're going to be going over the uh, assembly of your Tiva Water 2.0 in this video today. Uh, if, your if your filter comes with any packaging, remove the packaging and get your filter out so it looks like this. Now first things first, you're going to want to wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. Make sure you don't have any germs on your hands before you continue. Alright, take your lid off and place it nearby. Um, you're going to take your inner bucket out and you're going to put it on your lid to keep the bottom of the inner bucket clean throughout the assembly. Next, if there's the filtering cloth and the tap are on the top, just take them out and set them out of your way. There's a bag of sand that will be inside the inner bucket. Get it out and set it on the ground so your filter is lighter to work with. All right, now you pull your inner bucket out of the outer bucket and once again set it on top of your lid. There's a riser in the bottom of the outer bucket. Remove it and with the curved side face forward, place it underneath the outer bucket and seat it comfortably on top. Now you want to take your tap and remove the back nut from the tap. Do not remove the rubber gasket from the tap. It needs to stay on the outside of the filter. You have two wings that are going to sit comfortably side to side and they've provided opening. This keeps the filter straight, or the tap straight, excuse me, while you're hand tightening the nut onto the back. Once you've got the nut in the tap, tighten in the place, you're ready to move on. Pick up your inner bucket and there's a cup that's in the bottom of it. Make sure that cup is firmly seated in the bottom of the bucket so no sand can sneak through into the tube. Then flip it over, make sure your tube is firmly seated in the bottom of the bucket and up in the receiving port at the top. Place the black inner bucket inside your blue outer bucket, making sure all four sides are firmly seated. Next, you're gonna take your bag of sand. You wanna cut a little hole in the top and you're gonna to wanna to turn it over and have a controlled pour of the sand into the bottom of this bucket. Next, you're gonna take your filter ring. Uh, this is an important piece. It keeps the sand from clogging. Um, it'll pull out all the turbidity and sediment that's in the water before it gets to the sand. Every week or every month, depending on how dirty your water is, you will want to remove this ring and you wanna wash it off. Now, whether you wash it off in clean water or dirty water, it doesn't matter. Since it's above the filter media, the water will be clean once it passes through it. You do, however, every time you take it out, want to make sure that it is firmly seated in place that way that no water can sneak underneath it or around it and start clogging the sand. Now once you have your filtering in place you want to pour 10 liters of dirty water um, in the top of the filter and let, let the filter do its work. Usually on the first uh, run or two there might be some of the dust from the sand that will get flushed out. Uh, if it's cloudy at all just take that water and throw it out and load some more in. Once you've got clean water that comes through the filter, your filter is working properly. Next, you take your lid, place it on top, and you're now you're ready to use your Tiva Water Filter 2.0.